So today we're going to be looking at creating reading lists in an ultra course in Blackboard. Um, so to get started, we're going to just start by creating our reading list by hitting the plus icon and then choosing our content market. Uh, once we're in the content market area, we're going to find reading lists and we're going to hit the little plus in a circle here to start creating our reading list. And what it will do is it will create this blank area here. Uh, and from here, I'll be able to edit this and give it a better name. And I can leave it. Uh, so let's just call this for um, digital marketing reading list. Uh, and I can make this visible to students, have release conditions, or leave it hidden, uh, which I'll, I'll leave it hidden at the moment because I don't have anything there yet. And I can even add a description as well. Here are all the books for the course. And hit save. I've renamed it. I've given it a description. Uh, I've left it hidden for, for now. But now I'm going to actually go in and add some books to my reading list. So to do that, I'm going to just click on to the title here. And then I'll hit launch. And now I can actually start looking for um, some books for this. So we're looking at digital marketing. Uh, we can see the title here. So I let's go with digital marketing and just hit search and find some books here. So now I can just start adding things to my reading list that I need in here. Um, for any where it will say something like retrieve catalog item, uh, that is a physical book. It's not a digital book. So students will be able to go and um, retrieve those when they go into the, the library, they'll be able to see what you've suggested and then they'll be able to make notes and retrieve those as well. Uh, if I go up to the top, I can see my current reading list. So this just means I can see what I've added to uh, the reading list so far, just so I can double check I've not um, double added anything. Uh, you can also reorder these uh, so I can use this to uh, put these in a different order if I want them in a specific order. I could also add folders as well. So I could create a folder and this could be for week one uh, and create a folder. And then I can add um, these items then into week one just by simply uh, in the right hand corner here, choosing these go into week one. Uh, and then I could do week two, week three, so on and so forth and keep adding things uh, in here as well. Uh, I can also add web sources. Um, so this could be um, websites that may not be in the reading list. They're not in the, um, they're not in the catalog. They're not in the library that we have at the college, but maybe it's a website that I want the students to look at as well. Uh, and I can add this in here. So I'm just gonna be um, lazy and I'm just gonna use one of my recent um, links that I've had, oh, link label, give it a name, title, um, breaklet page, and add that there. So there we've got our website as well. And again, I can put this into a folder if I need to as well from the reading list. So I'm quite happy with everything I've done so far. Um, this is this is everything I want to be in the list. Uh, if I then just close it down, we'll come back to Blackboard. And we'll close this down as well. Uh, and let's go and make this visible to students now. And let's go and enter student preview mode just so we can see uh, what the reading list looks like to them. So as we enter student preview, we'll be able to get into the course and we'll be able to go and view. There's our reading list of all the books from the course. They'll be able to go in and hit launch and it will take them through to the reading list. And there we have everything. So they know there's stuff in week one. We can see all the other books and the little web page as well. Um, so that's how you would create your reading list in an ultra course. 
If you do have any questions though, please feel free to get in touch with the library team and they'll be able to assist you with this tool.